Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Lola's Watching on this nice Saturday, cold, snowy, windy day uh, in the DMV. We just had 60 degree weather yesterday, so I really don't know what's going on. But thanks for joining me. I know I've been promising a review of Famous Lounge in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. So that's what we're gonna be talking about uh, tonight. So I had really, really planned to have a nice fancy video with behind the scenes uh, looks at the lounge, um, us going in, pictures of the drinks, pictures of the food. But to be honest with you, I don't know how to edit videos. I don't know how to put them together. Sorry. So tonight you'll just get me. I'll try to paint you a picture with my words. So to start things off, uh, I went to Famous Lounge maybe last week for happy hour. We went around 4.30, 5 o'clock. And when I say we, I mean me and Tia, my ace. And the evening started off with Tia sending me a very um, candid text that said, where you at? I'm afraid to go in. <laughs> um, so that didn't start the evening off too well. Um, but I went in and found her at the bar. Um, and I sat down next to her and she was even more candid. And she said, you know, this place is giving me stripper club vibes. Which I could see. So it's kind of dark. They had a DJ going. Furniture was sparse. Um, a lot of dance floor room. Uh, not many people. So, but it was early, you know, it's early for happy hour, I guess, 4.35 o'clock. Maybe people hadn't gotten off work. Um, all black crowd, I would say everybody in there was between 30 and 50, maybe. I don't know, Tia might um, disagree with me or might have a better take on things. But I think that, that sums up the crowd. Um, we had a good bartender. His name was Stryker. And when I say good, he had a great personality. Um, the menu wasn't that extensive. The happy hour menu wasn't that extensive. We did wings and mozzarella sticks, uh, habanero wings and blue, uh, buffalo, uh, wings. So nothing major. We started off with green tea shooters. Um, they taste like juice and I'm a lightweight. I can't drink. I'm having a drink this evening, but, um, I can only have one because I get tipsy right away. So... Um, that tastes like juice. Let's see, we did order one more drink and that was a regular cocktail. We stuck with the whole green tea theme and again, really didn't taste any alcohol in that. I had no buzz, wasn't tipsy at all. Um, the wings that came out, they were nothing special, you know, just regular wings. They were crispy and dipped in sauce. Um, some folks were ordering a, a beef dish that looked really good. It looked like it was seasoned well. Our bartender told us that it is seasoned well, but it, the meat is kind of tough. So that made me not really want to order it. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think, was there any anything else that was really memorable? Oh, so the whole thing about the strip club vibes, for some reason, they have all the windows in there covered. I'm a child of the sun. I like uh, daylight, I like sunlight, um, natural light. So. I don't know, I kind of wasn't feeling that, but maybe they're going for a whole nightclub vibe. Maybe that's the scene that they're looking for. Who knows? Um, but I would say with this one, I think they still have some work to do. I think they need to um, beef up their menu. Um, definitely get better cocktails. The drinks were served in plastic cups you get from the dollar store. Um, they didn't have any dinner napkins. They just had cocktail napkins. Um, yeah, it just wasn't anything special. I would really stick to OTI and Nipsey's in the Upper Marlboro area if you're looking for um, nice happy hour spots, brunch or dinner or lunch. Um, they're always my go-to uh, if I'm in the area. Right now, I just feel like um, Famous Lounge still needs to do a little bit more um, homework on crowd pleasers. So, um, I would give this place maybe mm, half a heart. Nope, half a heart. <laughs> um, that's the best that I can do. Maybe I'll check back with them in the spring or the summer. But right now, that's all I got for them. So, um, 
I don't know if you've been and you have a different take on the place, put it in the comments. Uh, but for me, I think I'll give them a break for a little while to see if they get a little better. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you guys are enjoying your Saturday. This is really good. Um, and thanks for tuning in to Lola's Watching. You can always follow me on Instagram at Lola's underscore watching. And thanks for tuning in on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and like and comment and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.